we are going to one of the school run by Islamic State in this neighborhood. The first classroom appears to be arts and crafts, but with a sinister purpose. Um, uh, what's, what's that? This is, there's a human figure laying on the down. It seems they have been putting battery and heating it up so drones and planes overhead, if see them, mistaken them for human being or ISIS militants, so they would target them. It's a decoy. It's a factory, I can't see that many of them has been made here. They've been very clever. Uh, the kitchen. Oh, wait a second. This Matbach kitchen is written in Russian. It seems, we have seen, have, we have, we have seen a lot of Russian sign. It seems many people living in this compound were, were from former Soviet Union country. They say most of them are Chechens. Here, friends forever. Ahmed, Umar, it seems to me these are the names of the children of some of those ISIS militants written in English. And these people, maybe they have come from some English-speaking countries. Here I can see written in Arabic, Real Madrid, Spanish football club. In Kulasi Dars. This is one of the classrooms, and I can see they have taught them physics. I can see some math formula on the whiteboard. And also here, most of the material left behind are Quranic and religious. This is some kind of military lesson, and talking about how to find refuge in case of bombardment and attack. Uh -huh. It's amazing, it's in, for example here they teach them if you commit a crime according to Islamic State, this is your punishment. Here, lavat, meaning if you are homosexual, they will push you from top of a building. If you steal something, they will cut your hand. If you drink alcohol, you will be punished. And if you fight against them, it's called muharaba. They cut your neck, hang your body in the public. This is chilling.